Rex Crow is part of the team over at Media Molecule who's working on Tearaway, and it's not Little Big Planet. This is a totally different experience. You're kind of leading this game. Tell us a little bit about Tearaway. Well, Tearaway is a platform 3D adventure game, um, it's, and it's all set in a paper, paper world. It's a really fascinating place to explore because it just reacts so differently from games that you've played before, the way that you're seeing things unfold yeah. and open and tear and peel and do all these new mechanics, which just mean that you can have very different experiences in this world. My guess is, yeah. on the way that this was formed, is Sony came to you guys and said, we've got this cool handheld, mm -hmm. can you build something different with it where you can touch the screen? Is that kind of how it happened? Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. I mean, the Vita's just covered in inputs. You know, yeah. you can't touch a millimeter of it without, like, touching a... Like screwing something up. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully not, but, yeah. you know, we've got the microphones, we've got the front and the rear touch as well. Yeah. So we just wanted to go all out and really explore all of these different inputs. I see that Media Molecule is really fond of the rear touch. What are you getting at? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how to answer that. It looks like I'm watching somebody make little paper action figures right. and rip apart the world, like a stop motion video or something yeah. like that. Yeah, no, I mean, we really wanted to bring that stop motion animation style so that it's got a real magical feel. You really get that feeling that the world is coming to life. You know, we've taken this material that, you know, we've all got it all around us, you know, bits of paperwork all mounting up on our desk. It's not very magical when it's sitting on your desk, yeah. but when it starts to peel up and turn into a world, you know, yeah. that's really fascinating. Because we're using all the physics and the simulation of paper, it means that also when you're touching it and folding it and stuff, that you can have really realistically simulated movement as well. Give us a brief overview of what the story is so we know what character we're going to be playing and what kinds of stuff we're going to get up to. This paper world is all around us, but we can't see it. And the very act of like buying the game and putting it in the Vita and starting to move your Vita around almost shakes this world to life. And just doing this causes a rift between our world and the paper world. The paper world is all freaking out about this and they're thinking that they need to, in some way, try and stop all of this shaking that's going on. So they send this message out of the game to inspire the gods. And this message delivery all kind of gets messed up because you're not kind of quite ready to receive the message at that point. It falls back into the world. And in doing so, it has torn this great big hole in the sun, which is how the two worlds have come together. And then the little messenger person is just spending the whole game trying valiantly to get all the way through the paper world to get up to the sun to like mend it and to post their unique message out to you so that you can finally read what they've been trying to tell you all along.